Hey everyone, Mike Wardinsky here with NatureMike.com and today I've got a quick video to show you how to move a collection of photos from one Lightroom catalog to another. So here we are in the Lightroom library and I could choose any folder here to export. I could also choose any subfolder to export as well. And if you look to the right, you'll see these numbers. This is telling me how many photos are within that folder. But we're not just limited to exporting folders. We can also export collections. So let's say there's a group of photos that you like to print often. Or maybe you have a set of your favorite photos in a collection. If we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see collections here. And if you haven't created one, all you have to do is hit this plus sign and hit create collection. And then just go ahead and give it a name and then hit create. And once you do so, you'll see them down here. So I have one down here called Gallery Selects, and it's got 71 photos in it. And let's say I want to take these photos into another catalog. So there's a couple of reasons to do this. Maybe your external hard drive is getting full and you need to create a new catalog on a new drive, or maybe you just have a lot of photos in your catalog and it's starting to slow down and it's time to create a new catalog. Those are two great reasons to move some of your photos to a new catalog. So let's say we want to bring in this gallery selects into our new catalog. First, we're just going to make sure we have this collection selected. Then we go to file, export as catalog. Now we're going to see a dialog box appear. And this is kind of like the save as dialog box that you might see in other applications. So at the top, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. And I'm just going to call this gallery selects. And now we need to tell the computer where to save the file. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my second hard drive called Project Drive 2022. And I've already created a new catalog on this drive. It's called Mike's New Catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and open this folder. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder within it called LR Photos 2022. This way, all of my photos are imported under a single parent folder. If you watch any of my other YouTube videos, you know I like to keep everything under one parent folder just for organizational purposes. So now our gallery selects folder will pop in right underneath this LR Photos 2022 folder. And before we export, I just want to point out a few options down in the bottom. I recommend keeping export negative files checked. This is going to export any edits you've done to the files, any sidecar files, any virtual copies that you've created already. So I'd go ahead and leave that checked. If you use smart previews, you may want to check this. It's not the end of the world if you don't. I don't use them, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. And then lastly, you can choose include available previews. And that's just going to save some loading time once you actually get these photos into its new catalog. And then you're just going to hit export catalog. Now this can be somewhat time consuming, especially if you're doing a very large folder or collection. You may need to give yourself 12 hours or more if you're exporting a massive catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, take the dog for a walk, and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, our catalog export is now complete, and now we need to import these photos into our new catalog. So I'm going to go over to my finder and go to my project drive, go to Mike's new catalog and open that up. Okay, so here we are in our new catalog. And as you can see, I don't have any folders or photos imported yet. So we're going to go up to file. And now all we have to do is go to import from another catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to navigate to our gallery selects. I'm going to click on the catalog icon and then click choose. And now Lightroom is going to perform a couple of checks. And now we get this import dialog box asking us what we want to import. And I want to import all, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this checked. And moving down to file handling, Lightroom is going to ask us if we want to add the photos without moving them or copy them to a new location. I'm going to go ahead and leave them where they are. So I'm going to choose add new photos to catalog without moving. And next, if we did have photos in this catalog, we could choose to replace the photos or not and to preserve the old settings as a virtual copy. Um, that's up to you what you would decide to do there. And once you're all done, everything's checked, we're going to choose import. And again, if you're importing a lot of photos, it could take a couple of hours to the better part of a day. Okay, our import is complete. And when I go to all photographs, you'll see that here they are. 
You'll also notice when I go to folders and open up my project drive 2022, I now have some folders as well as some subfolders included. So the same folder structure that was in my previous catalog kind of came over to this new catalog. So did any collections that these photos were in as well. So if I go down to my gallery selects, this is all of the photos I imported, but I also have other collections as well that they were in, such as art fair options, um, new faves, and everything else. So that's it. That's all it takes. It's just a couple of steps, and you can easily move a bunch of photos from one catalog to another. I hope you enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And lastly, don't forget to check out naturemike.com for more tutorials, how-tos, workshops, and much, much more. I'll see you in the next video.